it's me shy but she's not that shy wilson and welcome to my new year vlog series i miss everybody so much i hope you miss me and i apologize for not vlogging sooner but i want to show you why i've been so m.i.a lately i'm gonna show you now baby come on come to me Yes! I got a new puppy! Her name is Tapioca. She is a Chihuahua mixed with a mini pin. I got her on November and I just love her so much. Say hi, honey! Hi! A little bit about my dog history. This is my very first puppy, so that's why I'm so excited. And a few years before I moved to LA, I really wanted a dog, but it just wasn't right at the time. It wasn't the right timing. I didn't understand back then, but I understand now. Um, when I moved to LA and FYI, it's very important that before you get a dog, you want to make sure um, which apartment complex or house you move into. Sometimes they allow dogs under 25 pounds and they have different rules and regulations. So you always want to do that research. So that's why I'm so blessed that I received this blessing in my life when I was ready and I had a time. And I thank the Lord, my father, for this beautiful, beautiful blessing. eating, And he gave me what I needed and what I asked for and, and, and what was in my head. But it was in his time, not my time. And I am so blessed, grateful, and appreciative that it happened right now in 2020 versus a few years before I moved to LA. Now, I say it's a blessing and I'm going to tell you why. I was baptized November 19th. Well, back in 2020, <laughs> a few months ago, uh, I did a lot of research, a lot of research, and I received my little tapioca November 20th. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, okay, Shy, you know, well, you didn't get the dog to the date, but let me explain. On November 19th, 2020, it was a Thursday, and actually, I had a very, 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 very important Zoom class. It was improv, and it was about for an hour and a half, two hours, and after improv, you're so tired, like you just knock out, or I'm just speaking for myself because I put my body into it. But yeah, I was just knocked out. Now, don't get me wrong. When I woke up, I was researching and watching so many puppy tutorials and dog tutorials and what type of, what they like to eat and everything of that sort. And then later on that night on Thursday, I fell asleep and I woke up to about three different people who had chihuahuas and dogs. So this wonderful owner and his lovely girlfriend, they messaged me on Facebook, FYI. If you're looking for a dog, don't count out Facebook groups. It's wonderful and a wonderful dog community. So I met them in Santa Ana um, and I picked tapioca up and the rest is history. I fell in love. With, yes. <laughs> I fell in love with her at first sight. And again, it was God who made this possible. So I am forever appreciative, grateful, and just, yeah, and just so happy that I had my fur baby. I have to say, she has been just a breath of fresh air, especially during this COVID thing. I mean, before, when early, early, early 2020, I was actually experiencing anxiety attacks, which I've never, ever, ever experienced before. I mean, I thought to myself, I love people. I love talking to anybody. So why am I experiencing um, 
all of these COVID attacks. So I have to say, I got through that again with the power of the Lord right by my side. I would listen to the book of Psalms and I would just fall asleep. But then again, later on that year, he blessed me with my tapioca and she has just made all the stress go away. Um, I'm not focusing again on the news as much and I'm just keeping things really, really light and fluffy. And it was so funny because as soon as I brought her home, I busted out all my old Disney DVDs and VHS, yes, VHS, Shy has VHS tapes, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, all the good stuff that we grew up with, the Smurfs, keeping it really light and fluffy because, you know, dogs can sense, uh, you know, when things aren't okay. So I just wanted her experience with me in our new house for the first night, really, really nice. So, like I mentioned before, I did a lot of researching. I have to say, before the summertime of 2020, right now we're in 2021, I did a lot of researching. And what I'm gonna do for everybody is I'm going to put a lot of links down below in my description box. Check it out of different YouTube channels and programs that I looked at and research before I even got my little tapioca. Um, a lot of it was cute programs like It's Me or the Dog. And this program is great even if you don't have a dog. It's really cute, it's a reality show of people who want to um, correct certain behaviors of their puppies or mostly adult dogs. It's really, really nice and it gave me so much insight of how I should train her. Um, things like training and uh, food, toys. There's other vloggers out there that are way more experienced than I, and they give you almost like a checklist of what you should buy and what you should do for your dog, um, different products, and like I said, I just enthralled myself in a lot of doggy 101 classes via YouTube, looking at documentaries, looking at vlogs, and it's so much fun. Again, I say, if you don't have a dog, that's fine, because you know what? It'll kind of take your mind away from all the things going on in the world right now. So I recommend anybody, if you have a dog, if you're thinking about getting a dog, even if it's a year or two years out, start watching these tutorials and vlogs and reality shows. There's so many different resources out there. And one of your best resources, and one really big resource that's at the tip of everybody's hand is Petco. When I first walked into Petco, way back in the summer, 2020, I was overwhelmed and you know, like, and I have to say something. Having a dog, I've experienced different type of emotions that I never thought I had. I've never been overwhelmed in my life, but when I walked in the store, I didn't know what to look at first. I didn't know where to go. But the people at Petco, they're so nice, especially if they know you're a first puppy owner. Oh, they will just take your hand and, and give you hints and, and, and lead you down to the right um, aisle and I noticed one thing I noticed is a dog community people who have dogs I mean they're just wonderful people to surround yourself with I know COVID you want to get down baby it's okay I know COVID is going on right now, so people can't be very social right now. And when you have a puppy, you have to keep them inside because they can catch parvo. I'll put that down in my description box as well. But again, if you can go into a pet co, a pet store, and just look around and talk to people, you might see someone or one of your neighbors who have dogs, and they'll give you little hints. People are so nice and willing to give you information even before you get a dog. So I recommend you go to Petco, look around, price some things out, and start your own checklist. Okay, so I already explained the day of the pickup and I was so excited and I was actually able to get a little bit of video footage 
of the first day picking up my little fur baby. So check out these videos. Okay, so here's my little baby. Okay, here's my little baby. Say hi. Say hi. We're in the dog owl now. And we're getting some treats. Huh. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi. 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 You just said hi. I got a talker. Now, after I picked up tapioca and we went to the store and we came back home now this is what i did and i'm so happy and glad i did this i packed a bowl and a blanket um and a few other items just in case and i was so happy a plastic fork spoon so happy because her lunchtime well actually her breakfast is around 7.30 in the morning. That's when I feed her. And then her lunchtime is around 12 to 12.30. And then her dinner time is always at 5. So by the time I picked her up, we went to the store to get everything. It was more like going on 6. So she was hungry. And when I brought her into Petco, she was just spazzing out in an excited way because she smelled all these gorgeous dog food in every single aisle so she was so hungry so after i bought all the items fyi when you go to petco or any pet store make sure you take advantage and um sign in or become a member especially when you have a first new puppy and then you get points and great things like that anyways we went into the car I was so glad I had a little bowl from home, just a little bowl because she's a little girl. I put some of her food from the can in there and she just ate it up in the car, which was wonderful because again, I live in LA. It was, the freeway was horrible and it's so funny because I see other people's vlogs about picking up their dog and they're like, yeah, it's just like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. There's construction on the freeway. So it's supposed to take them 20, 30 minutes. It takes them like an hour and a half. They're hungry. They're running on empty. That was me. That was me. I was so excited. Like I didn't even get a chance to eat really. Just pop a few pieces of cheese in my mouth. Boom. So anyways, I fed her in the car. And I'm so glad I got a chance. So I have some video I took of her eating in the car. And I also have some video of our first experiences in the house. Take a look. There you go. She's eating her food. Out, out, out. And it looks like she went wee wee on the pad. But not on me, but on the pad. So that is a good thing. Okay, we have a lot to take in. Hey, honey. It's time to go up to the apartment. But you are so asleep. I hate to wake you up, but we have to go to our apartment. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Sit. I want you to sit. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Good girl. She know how to sit. She know how to sit. Great friends. Good girl. Continue to be friends. This group does break up a little bit. Not all of us together, but C and I have always remained friends through all. Good girl. To about two years ago, C gets engaged to a person that she'd been dating, and the time does not matter. Like how long she'd been dating. It's manner so that it's a little bit. She boo boo. Yes, on the body bed. Yes. Oh no. No no no. No, 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 not right there, not right there, but over here, yeah, she poo poo, no, oh lord, you stepped in it, okay, hold on. So I have to say, training went really well for me, but I have to say, when we got home, I told her to sit, and she automatically sat. I think the couple I um, got her from, they probably probably uh, worked with her a little bit. I mean, I just can't explain it. But again, I'm just so blessed to have my fur baby. So since then, she's almost four months. Tomorrow is actually her birthday, September 17th. That's when she was born. So actually, I got her at two months and like three days. 
So she knows, of course, how to sit. She knows how to come. She knows how to stay. We're working on stay. We have to perfect stay. I started stay when she was going on or a few days before she turned three months. So we perfecting stay. I have to say she hits the pee pad still 90% of the time. With little dogs and little chihuahuas, sometimes they just go a little, beep, just a little, a little wow, like that, but just like a little dot, like boop really not that bad. I would um, clean it off with my carpet. Let's see. She knows how to go down to the ground. We learned that during her third month. She knows how to go up, up, up. I am currently teaching her how to jump over like a VHS box. Again, I said I have VHS boxes, tapes. So she knows how to jump over it. And again, she knows how to go up. She knows how... <laughs> Hi, baby. She's right here. I have to say again, she's a blessing. She's well behaved, but she knows off and she knows the code, which she knows she's getting a T R E A T. She knows that, but the code is, and everyone will have their own code, but when she behaves nicely, I say G O O D G I R L. And then she gets, and even when I say that, she'll even sit because she just, now, with nipping, of course, puppies are always going to nip. I'm going to put a few tutorials as well down below in my description box about nipping. But I say nice. Oh, she, no, she just heard me and she started doing it. But I say nice, nice, because when I got her, she, her teeth were just developing. I learned that they're always going to kind of chew and nip like she's doing now. I'll show you. They kind of chew and nip just a little bit to gauge because if they can't gauge the bite, then they don't know how hard to clap down on. That's why when you see people who have muzzles over their dog's um, face all the time, I'm not talking about they came from the vet, it's horrible because when they take that muzzle off, then the muzzle is, it, they're not going to know how hard to bite down on. So I say nice, 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 oh, and she just stops, you see? So you could also get them things like bully sticks. For a long time, she even liked to chew on a blanket, the blanket that I bought her. And that's one thing you'll need is blanket. Like this blanket right here, that's over my prop. I bought this at, I believe it was Big Lots. Yes, Big Lots. It took a while for Los Angeles County to get cold. So that was a good thing. It was really hot outside and warm out. When I, I took her to get her booster shots, then I took her, oh, bless you. I took her in the blanket, put the blanket on the seat. And for me, she does not urinate on the blanket so whenever you have them on that blanket they won't urinate i want to talk about toys you know what toys and again i'll put a description in my box about toys you could do homemade toys so again i talked about dip big lots i got this cute little thing from big lots she's been playing with this ever since she was little i took it out just to show you guys it's good to rotate the toys every month or so so she hasn't probably seen this since last year well okay it's only been a few days but she hasn't seen this probably since december the top of december i just took it out to show you this was about five or three dollars big lots wonderful i also bought this chili bone because i know that she's teething and it's still a work in progress you can freeze this but she just likes it unfrozen as it is and then she'll bite down on this and because she is a chihuahua mini pin mix she likes to go fetch so we play fetch with this a lot also like they say especially when you have a puppy you know and, and one years old they say is a puppy be inventive so she likes my robe my my the belt oh here she goes let me show you what she's doing she likes the belt to my robe she loves this see 
See, so this is what you can just, woo, and she just, see how she has fun with this? Free, free. I've had the robe for a long, long time, for like eight years, but she loves this. So just be inventive. Also, let me get this. <gasps> she loves this. Okay, so I got this at the dollar store, okay? Oh, look at her. Okay, okay. She loves this. This is her reindeer, and this was her, um... Christmas gift, actually. I bought this actually before I had her. And if I could, if I could show you, okay, maybe not. But there's a <laughs> a, a bottle in here, a plastic bottle. I went ahead and put rice in. Don't fear because it this thing seals. It's never open. But she likes the rattle and she's playing with it now. Again, she hasn't seen this since probably a few weeks ago because this was her Christmas gift. So she hasn't even seen this, but she just loves it. And she is just, woo, okay, well, let you have that, baby. Okay, baby. And also, I bought this from Petco, and this is wonderful. When you receive your fur baby, and they're young like she was, they miss the mom, and they just like to snuggle up, just like we did when we were babies. And some of us, some of adults, still like to snuggle. <gasps> I bought her this plush toy. I'm not sure if it was on sale, but this was only $9.99. And let me show you. It has a heart, so it beats. It beats. So, at night, sometimes, I turn on the heart. I put this right next to her. This is actually bigger than her. Honey, let me hold you up. This is just, <laughs> it might be the same size when I first got her. This was bigger than her. But she just, I mean, she loves to tug on this. And then, after a month or so, she started playing with it. She runs around it. She kind of attacks it. You know, she just loves this. So wherever we go, like when we go to grandma's house, family's house, this will be going with us because she just loves this. Also, now sometimes dogs kind of like to chew. I will be mending this, but I got this from Wish. It was $5, but then it's shipping tax. But still, she kind of put, chewed a hole in this. But this is like a nice little jacket sweater and this is just so cute on her it's hello kitty be and sometimes even with big dogs they get cold and again i didn't want her to get cold during you know the winter so i bought her this and so she could just wear this around the house even though there's a little hole in it but i can mend that up with needle and thread i have skills so this is wonderful and i got this from wish also, Big Lots has clothes as well. I did buy this for Christmas, and this is from Ross. She, when I bought, when I got her, she was a extra, extra, extra small. I kid you not. This is an extra small. So I like her clothes to be comfortable, and that's one tip I got off of It's Me or the Dog. It's great to dress them up, but make sure the clothes is kind of comfortable because they can't move and it might frustrate them. So this was a lot of, it was roomy on her. Not big or anything, but it was a right fit. But this is an extra small. Right now, she's probably an extra, extra small. But when I got her, she was an extra, extra, extra small. You understand? But don't worry. If it's too big, they'll grow into it. So she'll grow into the, to this. Also, I'm going to put this here. I got this from Petco. So I got her a nice all-purpose jacket. This was so big on her. But she had booster shots in the morning, and it was cold. So I wrapped her up in this blanket. And we left the house. So this is her all-purpose jacket. If you're like me, I love the heater. My apartment stays 99 degrees. So me and her, we're not going to have any problems. Also, where did it go? I got her these pajamas. I believe it was Wish. And there are so many other sites out there to buy doggy clothes. So this was online. Oh, and these were onesies. Now, they're rolled up. Because this was so big on her a few weeks ago. But then I just put this on her a few days ago. Kind of roomy. So I kind of um, do the cups. It's room. So sometimes her legs fall out. But that's fine. Because the front 
paws, the front legs, they always stay in. And this is pajamas. It's warm. It's all she needs. Wonderful. Also, she was so small. I bought a collar from Petco, but it was so big. And it's just not good to have so much space in between their neck and the collar. So I purchased a cat collar, which is wonderful because the cat collar has a little bell as you hear. So you know where they are at. <laughs> Shake your bell, honey. Shake that bell. Shake that bell. So you know where they are at all times. So the cat collar, honey, you want to show everyone their cat collar? So I got her a cat collar. If you can see, so much better. Say hi, baby. So much better. And then this cute little ID. Nice. Thank you. This cute little ID right here. It says her name. And I put my number on it. And then as an emergency, I put my family's number on it. And you always want to get an ID collar right away. I know the dog is going to be in the house with you. There's no, pos I, there's no possible way she can get out of my apartment. But when you start taking her to get her shots, it's just better for the vets and things of that sort. Okay, now one problem I experienced is when I got her maybe a day after, I noticed that she was kind of scratching a lot behind her ears and that she has. I'm not allergic to anything, but it's common. And that's another thing we don't think about. It's very, very common. So I did a little research. The link is in the description box. And I found out that coconut oil is good for your dogs as well. Uh, uh, last year, I did a vlog on sugar scrubs using coconut oil. Remember this? Well, I was just tickled for joy when I found out that you can put this on them. Now, you don't want to just put a whole bunch on them because it will clog the pores and it'll prevent them from sweating. But what I did is I melted it. I just kind of rubbed my hands just a little bit. Dogs, skin, and their nails, mmm they kind of get bad over the years because dogs age rapidly, even more than adults. So if adult skin gets bad over the years, dog skin gets bad over the years. So they need moisture. It's okay. For my uh, sisters out there, it's almost like you need hair grease for your hair. You know how you put hair grease? Okay. Well, my dog has her hair grease. Let her soul glow. Okay. Let your soul let it shine. When you put this on them, oh, they'll lick it off, which is fine. Now you can also include this in their diet, but you, but because this is fatty, this is more like a treat maybe once a month. What I'm starting to do is I'm going to give this to her. You could drizzle it over their food or their kibble. I give this to her maybe every other month, but again, just a little, like you could say an eighth, an eighth teaspoon of or a fourth teaspoon on the food. And this is great for their, if they ingest it, is great for everything. I'll put the link in the description box. But it's also good for their hair, their coat, and their nails. And she does not scratch. If you see her scratching, it's just at her collar. They have to get used to their collar as well. So many things they have to get used to. Well, you have it. We have part one of my puppy vlog, my life experience, and my brand new love of my life. So please stay tuned. I will be vlogging more specifically about different areas of having my new puppy and um, different things that we're doing over the course of the next few months. She, again, she will be four months old tomorrow, Sunday, January 17th. So until then, stay tuned, stay blessed. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And please feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. Until then, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and Happy New Year. Take care.